I had an epiphany as I was driving, listening to this classic from Leonard Skinner, Freebird. Some woman in the heart of the coronavirus had some post that I saw on Instagram. I don't know who she was. I don't remember where I saw it. She said, what a time to be childless. Well, I say, what a time to be single, no kids. God bless you folks that have kids. All the best. But I could take my bug out bad and go at any time and move on to an Amish-type civilization. Or it could all end like Napalm Death, the heavy metal death band from England, in their little documentary video in the 90s said they thought uh, humans would annihilate each other. And then eventually over time, Twinkies and cockroaches would last through it, of course. But humans would pop up and little civilizations would begin once again. God would create them or they'd evolve. So. But what a time to be a free agent. Well, the last post may have been, may have been somewhat negative. So I'll give you the yin and the yang, the duality of the mystery, the enigma wrapped inside a riddle that is the Meow Man's hummingbird mind. A praise report. Three relatives got coronavirus. All three had underlying conditions. One a smoker with asthma in her 50s, a cancer survivor. Another obese with diabetes on blood pressure medicine. And a third, my uncle Sonny. 80 years old in a nursing care facility in Pennsylvania. All three got it. All three survived. So praise God. Praise their healthy immune systems. You guys want to see some footage? I'm going to hit some back. Stay strong in this chaotic time of the world. The Meow Man is here for you to speak. You can DM me. I'll be your counselor. I don't charge a thing. Went to the eye doctor the other day. Eye doctor's a great guy. He takes me out to lunch every year. He's a devout Christian. His little son, he's nine years old. Beautiful, smart, well-mannered little kid. Sharp as a tack. Gives me hope for the future. But I told him, Doc, I've fallen away from God and my Christian faith. And he's very sarcastic. Great sense of humor. And he's mentioned what's going on in the world. He's like, oh, you don't need a God. We could all be our own little gods, lowercase g. You see how it's working out, don't you? The rioting, the looting, the burning, the, the push for socialism, the push for Marxism. Got me thinking about a verse in the Bible about taking care of your vineyard. I think it's in Song of Solomon or Ecclesiastes. People need to work on their own relationship with God if they believe in God first before they could fix the world's problems. Let he who has wisdom discern the message. Your beloved Meow Man was down and out this weekend, battling depression, stomach flu, just wanted to laze around. The Democrips and Robloticans got the best of me, like they're getting the best of you all, because that's what they are. Just a couple gangs, the big tech hiding behind keyboards, censoring speech, the double standard, the hypocrisy, it's pure madness and insanity going on in the world today. I hope you people see it. I hope you can read the statistics objectively like I can. But what did I do? There's nobody there to motivate me. I had to dig deep. Did some legs. I'm not the strongest anymore. I'm not the fastest. But what I can do is push myself and be intense. And that's what I did today. And you know what? I feel 100% better. Tomorrow I go back to my cookie cutter job. We're all like little guinea pigs in the world. But you can push and motivate you. Cookie cutters getting their ice cream.
couple rants for you on this Independence Day, which I'd say enjoy it, people, here in the U.S., because things are going to be radically different next year if you catch my drift, the way things are going. But for those of you who have served in the military, I thank you for your service. Tell me this. How are these snowflakes that are offended by every little word, little name-calling, going to enter into the military? Don't they haze you in there to try and toughen you up mentally by calling you names? I know it's not like Full Metal Jacket, where they, you know, Sergeant Hartman, the things he said to people, but I'm sure they have to get in your head and uh, break you down, right? To see who's mentally strong or not. So there's that. And then ESPN, boy, have they fallen. When I was a kid, they had AWA wrestling, powerlifting, strongman, bodybuilding. Now it's hot dog eating contests, video games. Just great. What does it have to do with sports?